What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Uh, guys, I got to be honest with you. There's a lot going on in the background. You've seen some price action. You've seen the pump uh, start to happen. We've got a lot of positivity in price action. But there's a lot of wild stuff going on in the background of Luna Classic. We're going to break some of that down for you. We can't break down everything. There's just not enough time in the day anymore for everything that's going on behind the scenes and um it is absolutely wild that you have this scenario that's playing out where a validator who's quote unquote brand new but's been around and has had their account since wink wink november of 2022 but is now a validator has very few followers but suddenly everybody is wanting to support them. And it's everybody on Twitter with numbers in the back of their name. Wow, it's almost like they're using AI to make it seem like there's a bunch of support for them. And what are them and they doing? They're trying to wreck Luna Classic. How are they trying to do that? By taking control of it and by getting control of the chain. And what are they doing in order to make that happen? They are lying to you. This is crazy stuff. It's really happening. It's a continuation of uh, what's been going on, but the jig is up right now, and they know it, and they're fighting back. Now, if you like this type of content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell to be notified of future content, and make sure you leave a, a comment down below. Go through this and tell me what you see. We're going to start off. Uh, with, as always, with the price action, then we're going to move on. We're going to rapidly go through here because there's a lot of things to cover in a very short period of time. Now, first of all, I told you that we were going to break out and probably get up here to the 50. Well, that hasn't happened so far yet, but we started to use the 20 as support in order to do this. Of course, I gave you that little move right there for the back test because that's what happens. You try, you test the 20 as support before you move on and, and crush that 50. And then if you cross it over, that becomes a bullish breakout. Now, remember, when I say that, the bullish breakout is a lagging indicator because we're using moving averages. So, um, But it came down here instead. Uh, we got this sort of uh, downward momentum, this sort of downward pressure here. Uh, we get rid of that line right there because it doesn't matter anymore. But you know, we're kind of playing along with this line here. Now we broke out. We use this as support in the back test. And then we start to develop this little channel right here, heading back upwards. Of course, it broke down slightly for a little while. Uh, this is day chart, by the way, a couple of days. And then we, we came back around, had that big move, probably in anticipation of some of the burns that were going on. You know, we, we got some interested parties who were looking uh, uh, to get to, to get into Luna Classic. And now what we what do we do? We drop that zero one more time. Now, will it hold? I don't know that it holds or not yet, uh, but I do think that at least a test here is coming. Uh, this is a bearish crossover that's about to happen right here. And it really looks like the that the Luna Classic, uh, we might have a move right here that stops that from happening. If we get a move up here, then we'll get a rounding of the 50 uh, back up into a bullish indicator. Uh, but that remains to be seen whether that's going to happen or not. And then um, it, the the reason that that could happen, market sentiment is starting to get pretty positive. We're starting to see a little bit of a pump. So let's break down a little bit about why some of these things are happening. Number one, uh, the Montenegrin authorities have uh, extradited. They have allowed the extradition of Han uh, Chan uh, Chang Jun, who is the former CFO of Terraform Labs. Uh, he's being extradited back to South Korea. Because he's been accused. And for some reason, for some reason, Duquan is headed to the United States and the CFO for Terraform Labs is going to South Korea. It's almost like the United States is just doing this for wink, 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 posturing to make them look cool and using their um, uh, using their stroke around to try to. Um, uh, but there's no reason for, for, for Duquan to be in the United States. Of course, that Duquan, I think, wants to be in the United States. He wants to have this argument over here. So could they be spreading out because they know they're not guilty and they want everybody to know that. So now they're splitting up uh, to to, to kind of let you know in South Korea. Yeah, we didn't do this. Uh, and then in, in, in the United States. Yeah. We didn't do this. Uh, where'd the money come from for you guys to make the travel? Well, you know, these they were our tokens. We took them because we knew what was going on. And then somebody came and tried to kill me at my house uh, with my family and my kids, Doquan would say. So I fled the country because, first of all, I don't want to be killed. And secondly, I don't want to be killed by South Korean authorities because they need a scapegoat uh, for whatever's happening here. 
and the people that did it, like jump trading in Chicago, Illinois, the people that, that are actually uh, the criminals that are that are doing this stuff. And it's not criminal, by the way. It's not it's not criminal. They can actually destroy your company. And it's perfectly legal in the United States because that's what, quote unquote, capitalism means. So just bear in mind that. Uh, so anyway, um, there's um, um, there's the extradition going on. And then we have uh, there's there's a lot of conversation here about uh, proposals, uh, security package upgrade from Genuine Labs, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then here it is, compulsory KYC for L1 developers. And it's about to hit the pass threshold. And it's not up for another three days. So this is probably going to pass. This will be one of those things where you're, you're really uh, looking at it and you're like, oh, my God, is this really going to happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, compulsory KYC. Now, uh, does that mean that the people in Luna Classic become the KYC? No, uh, you have to be uh, you have to be KYC by a third party. So um, uh, it'll be approved third an approved third party. So uh, there's no more hiding. There's no more pretending. There's no more well, I don't know who I am um, being secretive. And you know what? The good actors, the good players out here, uh, like Luna Classic Labs, uh, like Lunk Live. Those kind of people, guess what? They don't have a problem with KYC. They understand the process. They understand the need uh, for security. Do you know who doesn't? Yeah, you know who. Uh, all of the people up at the top that I've been telling you are trying to steal from you, that are trying to wreck you, that are trying to prevent Luna Classic from thriving. All of those people, uh-uh, they do not want to end. If you want to go follow Luna Classic Labs, they will show you. They will show you that that's exactly what's happening. Now, uh, let's go to the, uh, let's go to this. Uh, so Diamond Hands over here has now picked up an extra 14.3 billion lunk staked. Uh, his voting power is now uh, going up. Uh, then you have, this really is weird, okay? And I want you guys to look at this for a second here. It says, Lunk, it's very clear that the KYC props are a retaliation to the launch of Moon Rabbit Validator. And this is Stephen J. 439-40726. What is that garbage right there? That usually, that's bot. That's a bot, right? Uh, and then what is this? Um, uh, so um, we must vote it out and move forward with the roadmap. Don't just get mad. Just get even. Stay professional. Stay strong. Stay loyal and stay lunk. Now, uh, Moon Rabbit Validators, 339 followers. 339 followers? Only following 39 people. Nobody cares about Moon Rabbit Validator because it barely exists. Okay, so let's just let's let's use that as a thing right there. And uh, what does that uh, what does that say to you? Uh, and, and then where did this come from? It looks like look at this down here. It came down from Foluna Moon Rabbit. Foluna Moon Rabbit. Why is there a bunch of different people named Moon Rabbit uh, talking about this? Um, Frog Girl Fo. All right. So oh look, Moon Rabbit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is just my two cents, not Moon Rabbits. Uh, okay. Please stop getting blinded by a very loud minority who continue to lie and gaslight everybody. Recently, around 2,000 wallets were created to vote yes for the KYC prop that holds minimal to zero lunk. This was done to manipulate you and also the validators into believing this is what people want. This is actually what people want. See, that's the thing right there. You see it right now. You're being lied to. And they're creating bot accounts to try to do that with. Um, and and uh, as you go down, you will find more, by the way. You, it doesn't take you long uh, to try to go to go find all this kind of stuff uh, and see. Now let's take it a step further. And we've got Luna Classic Labs. Yes, it's really happening. Delegators are absolutely sabotaging corrupt validators and have decided to take their power into their own hands. What you're seeing is you're starting to see uh, Luna Classic Labs get more delegators. You're starting to see the good actors uh, starting to see these things happening here. Uh, Terra C. Vita decided they have their own strategy. Uh, we have not yet voted due to conducting extensive research. After consulting with many people, including Solid Vote, instead we have created a new proposal that builds on the aims of 12033, which if implemented should deliver improved security for Terra Classic in a practical, defined process. So um, some of you may be wondering why Terra C. Vita has not led this field in voting in proposal. Uh, look, they didn't, they didn't vote. Um, but um, they're working on it. Look and look. There's all kinds of different. Um, uh, there's all kinds of different updates that are happening right here because it is going on right now. Uh, we're getting the bad actors out, right? Uh, and this right here. Look, I mean, it's, it's just a meme, but this is telling you what you need to know right here. KYC for L1 developers, Lunk investors. Yeah, they want to know that their money is safe and not just sitting here behind some crook, uh, back behind closed doors. 
and then boom, lunk validators stopping it from happening. Um, and then as you go down, you're gonna be you're gonna be finding a whole bunch of different stuff. And just I, I implore you to go follow at Luna Classic Labs and and really just kind of check out what he's been showing you. Uh, and he's gonna show you Luna Rewards. They voted no. Uh, he's gonna show you a giant list of people. And guess what? All of the bigs, all of the bigs, they want to keep it a secret. They want to keep you from knowing who they are. They want to keep, and by the way, you don't get to know here. Here's because here's the bad thing you don't get to know who they are anyway. KYC doesn't have anything to do with you, it has to do with you being safe. Uh, we finally put the facts on the table and stop believing the scammers. We will not be successful if we feed parasites like this from our Oracle pool. Can you guess the name of the validators just by voting history? And guys, you can, because here you go, right here. This is, look what they did. This is what they did. This is, this is the people that you uh, have your, um, that you have your stakes with. Interstellar Lounge, no with veto on 12033. Uh, these are the people that don't want you to know who they are. Uh, Luna Station 88, no with veto. TCB Thor Maximus, no with veto. Moon Rabbit Validator, of course, uh, no with veto. And look at how much stake these guys have. Lunk Dao, uh, Stake Bin, no with veto. PFC, no with veto. Uh, Lunk Luna Rewards, Hexagon, Baywatch, Terrarium, Cosmic, no with veto. They don't want you to know who they are. And look how look how long ago they did that. Like they they went in. Why is Interstellar Lounge doing it at the exact same time that Moon Rabbit is doing it or Cosmic doing it? Like why is that happening? So guys. Look, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, see what I'm saying? It's a little bit wild. It's a little bit crazy. Guys, be safe. And then finally, in closing, uh, I do want to give another shout out because, I, you know, I, like I barely ever get a chance to do this because I, I usually don't agree with him. But um, Terra Classic just got weird a couple of days ago. This is from Happy Caddy Crypto. And then boom, major player moved 12 billion because look, major players are moving their, their, their tokens around because they see the writing on the wall. They know that these other validators, they're scamming. They know that that's happening. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to stop it. So uh, shout out to Happy Caddy Crypto, Luna Classic Labs, uh, Mr. Diamond Hands. They're all doing um, the right thing by people. They're all not afraid to be uh, docs. They're all not afraid to um, KYC themselves, not to you, but to, a val uh, to, to, to an actual company uh, so that we can have good faith in knowing that these people um can handle whatever is going on here. And if you're not, then it gets a little bit weird. And if you have any question about that, go look at Happy Caddy Crypto's stuff and go look at all the people that just popped up in November of 2022 out of nowhere. And they all vote the same way. And they all were allegedly part of uh, Luna trying to take over Luna Classic and kill the project. So uh, that's not me. That's not, I'm not telling you that's happening. I'm just telling you, I mean, if it barks like a dog, if it quacks like a duck, uh, anyway, it's not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go check into this and let me know what you think.